this one, which I think taken again from that absolute ground level, like like the curling shot. Um, this one, the, the, again, you, you, you've got a little bit of blur movement at the, at the bottom here. It's quite a sh shallow depth of focus. Um, you know, the, the board here is just sort of slightly behind. We've got, you can see the grass where it's out of focus before. We've got a little line here, out of focus just in front. Slightly more than there was in the curling, but not a lot. The crowd in the background completely out of focus. But what an energy in this, that, 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 that really strong diagonal. I talk about this on my podcast sometimes um, about compositional techniques is that diagonals are where the energy is in an image that when you have really strong verticals and really strong horizontals, they create anchors and strength and stability. When you put in diagonals, that's where you get movement. That's where you get energy. That's where you get anticipation. And it's a bit like if you have a pole, or a tree and it's absolutely upright, it's not going anywhere. You know, it's perfectly stable. You don't have to concentrate on it. If it's lying flat, likewise, it's not going anywhere. But if it's sitting diagonally, you're kind of waiting for it to fall over. Anything that's at an angle feels that little bit more precarious. So once you, in compositional terms, in painting and in photography, once you introduce diagonals, you, you get a much more much stronger sense of movement and energy and with this with the head thrown back and the the kilt flying out there with the move you know as he's kind of swinging i uh, the I, I just such a powerful photo um any era you know again this this could have been taken yesterday and it would still be an incredibly powerful photo um but again obviously the photographer couldn't actually be where we feel we are we feel like we're lying on the ground three feet in front of him. <laughs> so I'm assuming the photographer must have been further back with a zoom lens. Yeah, I think there's another interesting alignment here between this uh, and another photograph in the exhibition um, called, called the Rugger by um, Alexander Wilson Hill. Um, between these photographs and another art form, and so what we're seeing here uh, and in, in Hill's Rugger is the, the, the drama of the moment sort of before release, mm. right? Before that sort of physical release. So, and I think the diagonal you, you refer to accentuates that as well. It gives us a, a sense of expectation, of anticipation mm. of what comes next, yes. right? Um, we have to we have to use our imagination a bit, don't we? Um, and we know the facts, right? Because they're, yeah. they're, they're documented here. We can read them, um, but in terms of, of the the physicality of this, uh, we have to we have to extend ourselves as viewers uh, a bit. And, um, and of course, um, not dissimilarly, uh, you might think of Michelangelo's David, right? It's, we're, we're not seeing the moment in which that stone is, is projected. We're seeing the moment before, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and it's, it's, it's so smart uh, in terms of, of the narrative of the image. Uh, that it leaves the rest to us, yeah. in a sense. Yeah, interesting. Just, just that, that very point. I remember years back when I started photography, a wedding photographer telling me that you don't shoot the kiss, you shoot the point just before the kiss, <laughs> as the lips are almost touching, as they're going towards each other. That's the most romantic place, because then when you look at the photo, everybody's projecting what comes next. The actual kiss itself also doesn't tend to look because it's just squashed faces like, you know, when you stick your face up against a piece of glass or something and your, your face smears across it, you know, it doesn't actually look as good. But that anticipation is a really powerful part of a narrative in, in imagery. Yeah. And, and then the afterwards has a bit of a, oh, my God, what have I done? <laughs> so <laughs> don't want that either. It's true. 